Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Many people have wondered if cracking method can be done outdoor. Okay, first you will need a uh, some sort of containers. You can use any that you like. This is a three gallons, I think, container, or maybe two. I'm not. I don't remember. Um, and I just saw the holes out and that fits into here. I've had many videos done on how to do this kind of thing, so I'm not gonna go through that again. I can link you to how I make them. This is a three inch net cup. You can use two inch or whatever size you like. And this bucket has been reused so many times and I've done it and, and I've used it for other things. So that's why the holes are larger. So what we're gonna do first is fill this up with water and you will need to use your net cup as a guide because you want the water to touch the bottom of your net cup and that's it. Okay, make sure they all touch. Sometimes the center is a little deeper, but as long as they, they all touch, then that's just fine. All right, so that is perfect right there. Now what we're gonna need to do next is mix our nutrients. Okay, so this is about two gallons there, so we'll need two of these. Okay, now we check our pH. It's about 6.2, so we need to drop it a little. Okay, that's 5.9, perfect. All right, we got our system ready and what we're gonna need to do now is go and grab some plants. Okay, here's my garden here and over the winter, I have a whole bunch of uh, seedlings that kind of like volunteer to come up. Look at these. Those are my butterhead lettuce, the red kind. So I may take a few of those and maybe grab me a tat soy here and some of these uh, purple perella. These are seashell, shisel. So uh, I, I had these in a the cup and then uh, I accidentally spilled a cup of seeds over and that's where these guys are growing out of. So we'll take maybe one or two of those. We'll start with this guy. Maybe we can just pull it out of the soil without damaging some of the roots. So there it is right there. Maybe we'll do two of these because I like these. They're, they're very nice herb. There you go. So we got two. So we need four more. Okay, this lettuce look nice here. So we'll, we'll take one of those. There we go. Okay, we have five here, so let's get one more. We'll do this one. Wow, this one has a lot of roots. And this is just too much root. It may not work because the cracky, they, when the plants has root developed like this, it's, it's a little bit difficult. So maybe this is not a good idea. We'll take something else. We'll put this one back. Oh, here's some romaine lettuce. How about these? These are also volunteer. Oh, that's a good one here. Okay, we have six. 
Okay, these are our plants here. I have cleaned it up already, so the roots are nice and clean. So what we're gonna do next is put these into our system. So we'll take a rock wool cube here and we'll split this in half. Looks like so. Then we'll put our plant in. Little, the roots should be slightly sticking out there. And then we'll put it here. Okay, then we need the rock wool here. Put it around the plant so it doesn't move around. Alright guys, here it is. This is where it's gonna sit. So right now it gets a lot of the morning sun and then in the afternoon it get a little shade. I may move it around. So that's where it's sitting here. This spot gets sun all day long here. So once they establish a little bit, I may move them over here. But for now that's where they're gonna stay. I'll come back with the progress update soon. All right guys, welcome back. It has been exactly three weeks now and this unit here is doing fine. It's not doing as well as I expected because um, what happened here is that because the system is so small and when the sun is out each day, it dries up the water so quickly that it just dropped below the, water, the level that the plant need. So uh, when that does that, what it does is uh, it it kind of like dry up the roots of the plant before it reached into the reservoir. So constantly I have to come out here and just use my hose here and just add water so that it can come back to the level where the roots can get it. So, and as you can see, we're missing one plant. That's because that one died. Um, I waited too long because I kind of forgot to check on it and then the roots couldn't reach the water because it was dried and then that one died uh, I came out and I saved these guys so these guys um, I came out on time and I was able to get the water back to the level where the roots needed so right now as you can see when I lift this up there's no water dripping that's because the the level is so low right now that the roots couldn't touch at the level so that will kill your plants if you prolong uh, the situation so um, growing in this method outdoor in such a small container is not uh, worth the effort because uh, it's actually more work than what is worth because you have to constantly come out and monitor your water and add more as is needed so if you happen to travel or whatever then <laughs> it's not a good method to use but it's a fun experiment. Anyway, today I ran out of the DinoGrow nutrients, so I'm going to switch to the tomato formula. I got this at Walmart when it was on clearance for like $2 or something. So uh, we're gonna use that in here because I ran out of nutrients. And also when you, when you grow it outside, there is potential algae growing. So you see, it's kind of green in there. Uh, the nutrients green but also it's much more green because of the algae so what I'm gonna do now is change this water out because it's so diluted and it's so off balance because I keep adding water without without pHing it just to keep these guys alive and so today I'm gonna add uh, new water rinse out the system and then add this and then I'm gonna pH it and then uh, continue the process okay so let me uh, change the water out real quick all right guys check this out see this here this green water that is from algae grown in there and algae will compete uh, with your plants for oxygen and nutrients and so it will eventually outgrow and suffocate your plants so you need to clean out very often and all I did was spray water into here and that's when all the new the algae are there see that so we're gonna clean this out really well and then mix a new batch. All right guys, this is uh, all nice and clean now. And so we're going to add the nutrients in here. So this is a one and a half tablespoon. So the instruction says one and a half tablespoon for one and a half gallon of water. So this is actually a one and a half gallon, but 
I'm gonna go under, I'm gonna use one tablespoon. And then we're going to add water into here. And in case you're wondering if this would work in hydroponic, I tried it and it works. But this is mainly used for uh, gardening uh, in your raised bed and stuff like that. So like for soil stuff. But um, I've used it in hydroponic and it worked just fine. It's just pretty much the same as uh, the other water soluble. It's just uh, not made for hydroponic. But because we're out of hydroponic solution, we're going to use that. All right, so let's see if our plants would reach the water. If it doesn't, we need to add more. Okay, that should be good enough. And now we need to take this out and we're gonna balance it using our pH meter. Okay, this is around 6.7, so we need to drop it quite a bit. Okay guys, we just used some pH down and I've added to the container here. And so right now it's around six, which is perfect. And then check to see if it touches the water. Yep, it does. And the extra hole, cover that up. All right guys, so this is three weeks update. We added some new nutrients there. So uh, we will be back soon and I will give you another update. Um, this is just a for fun project so I don't recommend you know using solutions that are not made for hydroponic or a container this small <laughs> all right we'll be back okay guys welcome back it has been four weeks now and the plants are recovering so after the nutrients change they grew a little bit but we are getting the same problem again and the water dried up so quickly that um, the root was starting to have problems. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So as soon as it, it tries to grow more roots to reach the bottom, then the water kind of dried up a little bit so the roots uh, kind of died back. And then what that does is it caused me to add more water. And then when you add more water, the bottom roots, you see the hanging string right there, begins to die off because it suffocated so <laughs> so that's the problem with the uh, small cracky outdoor um, grow it's just constantly you have to try to keep the water at a level where the roots can take nutrients and breathe at the same time but uh, I'm surprised they they are all still alive so if I take these guys out and put them into soil they're gonna grow really really well so we're gonna do that so today I'm gonna remove all of this here and then I'm gonna put some in my raised bed look at these lettuce here look at that beautiful lettuce so I'm gonna take one and probably put it right there the romaine one so uh, let's go ahead and do that I'm just gonna remove it like that here and then we're gonna dig a hole here We'll put it right here next to the rest of them. I gotta move these onions. So right here. And we'll drop it here. Make sure that is the leaves are above the soil. That's where it's gonna stay and I'll go ahead and move the rest and I'll show you where they are. Okay, here's one of the uh, red lettuce there. Just moved it into here. And then I moved the other one there, right next to this gigantic one. And this is the one that I moved from Cracky into here. And I did a video on that, so you guys can check it out. If you wanna see, it was really small, like a little bit larger than that. And now look at the size of this. And I have been harvesting it and eating it. And look at that, it's still producing. And that's the second one that I did. Uh, at the same time and this one's already started to to bud produce seeds so I pluck the top off and lettuce if you top the lettuce <laughs> it'll grow some size once they're starting to produce seeds that's what happened uh, you pinch the top it'll grow somewhere else on the side and then that side will still remain and start to produce seed just as quickly 
and then this little shiso here just move there and that one there so this one and that one and the rest were just grown in soil so we will be back soon once they all grow, uh, grow really well and I'll show you one last update alright guys this is the last update and it has been two weeks since we placed the plant from hydro into soil uh, it's grown quite a bit it's looking good right now um, the weather was kind of cool when we remove it but now it's getting slightly warmer which is the perfect condition for these guys to grow so they're starting to take off really well so that's the first one and then that is the second one and the large one that I showed you guys I removed it because it, it started to bolt I harvested everything and then I just completely removed the plant out of here okay here is the one that we took out right there it's doing well the rest of the lettuce man these guys I've been harvesting them like crazy every few days and they just keep growing back so when you harvest these romaine don't take the, the entire thing just pull out some leaves to use and they'll come right back so there it is right there that's that's the guy that we took out and the shiso and there it is right there it's growing nicely and the rest of them are growing really big so this guy is starting to catch up and then the other one that's right there so uh, not too bad everything's doing great so uh, because our method of hot cracky outdoor didn't work too well we took it out of the the system and place them in soil so uh, it was a fun experiment the small system did not work <laughs> so don't don't give up uh, if, if your hakraki didn't grow well and the plant is still alive put them in soil and uh, they should be fine all right guys um, I hope you enjoy this crazy video <laughs> it was just an experiment to show you guys that cracky can be done outside except in small containers they don't work that well uh, larger container it, it may be okay so uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.